is the time of year. If you haven't done it yet, you're going to shortly. And we're talking about tires. Everybody's been rolling around all winter long with their winter tires on, and it's time to change them over. So we thought we'd have Dad Giacchini on the show. He joins us from Cal Tire up on Notre Dame. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you guys getting busy? We are. It's starting to pick up quite a bit. And mm -hmm. uh, after the long weekend, it seems like this is when we get in the full swing for sure. So. I guess, because it's a travel weekend, and if people are in the mountain passes, Unlike me, uh, they would have been smart and left them on. I didn't, yeah. but uh, yeah, so now it's full full steam ahead, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, April 30th is the day that they have to be off, so now everyone starts ramping up for it, for sure. Okay. So we're talking a little bit today about the importance of some of the things you should know when it comes to buying an all-season or a summer tire. It's not just about what fits your car. It's about the numbers on the side of the tire, the speed rating or the tire speed rating. Uh, we're taking a look uh, at a video in a second, but maybe you could explain what this, the speed rating is all about. Well, the speed rating is basically how well your, how fast your tire can perform under a certain speed. Um, but it's a little bit more than that. Um, it should actually be the performance rating of a tire. Um, the performance rating on the tire does a few things. Um, uh, it will be how fast your tire can dissipate heat, as well as your stopping distance and um, um, cornering and handling under the performance of a vehicle. How often when people come into Cal Tire, they know what you're talking about when you're talking about speed rating? They don't. And that's the that's thing. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the thing is, and then we're finding it even more so now with the online shopping. You can get tires anywhere online. So most people know the, the numbers and the size of their tire. And I mean, if it's black and round and made of rubber, it seems to fit any vehicle. Right. But there's a lot more to a tire makeup than just that. Fantastic. Uh, a couple of the things that tire speed ratings uh, really dictate is number one, as you mentioned, tire temperature. So we're going to take a quick look at uh, a YouTube clip here. When you use a tire with the wrong speed rating, it's going to flex and squirm under pressure, causing increased heat buildup. Higher temperatures can have a big impact on your tire's performance and durability. You could be risking tire degradation, reduced traction, and even blowouts. With an incorrectly rated tire, you could also be compromising steering response and cornering grip because low-rated tires have lower quality construction. Our first little s seminar there, so a, f a few things there that people might not realize. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's funny because when you talk about the temperature of a tire, most people think in their long haul commutes and things like that, where that's not the case. This is just your commute, local commute to work and back. Um, they can build quite up a bit of heat throughout the rubber of the tire. Um, when you do have a buildup of heat, what happens is heat's uh, rubber's number one worst enemy. Mm -hmm. So the tire can start to, as you see there, can start to wear prematurely or even possibly blow out. Have you seen that tires blow out? Oh yeah, we see it all the time in yeah. our in our industry. When you got people towed in all the time, and the tires just shredded to pieces. And sometimes it could be due to the fact that, you know, the tire did wear prematurely as well. Good to know. Next point about the uh, tire speed rating is braking distance. We have a quick video on this as well. When you need to swerve into the right lane to dodge an oncoming hazard, a higher rated tire will keep its shape so you can change directions without leaving the road. Performance rating also has a huge impact on braking. Low rated tires do not provide the stability of properly rated tires. In an emergency situation, they'll take a lot longer to stop. So there is a huge difference on, on the braking distance if you have the right speed rating for your car. Absolutely. The tires are, and speed rating of the tire is designed for every vehicle. It's a little bit different per vehicle that you get into. The engineering of the vehicle is made up as well as the engineer of the tire. When you downgrade from a V-rated to an S-rated tire, for example, it can make quite the difference in an emergency situation, especially in um, stopping distance. Um, from an S to a V-rated, for example, there is about a 12 to 18 foot difference. And in, when you're coming down to slamming on your brakes, that can make a huge difference. Absolutely, an emergency situation for sure. So these are just a couple of the examples of things people need to consider. Uh, and considering that a lot of people don't know what the speed uh, rating is all about, I, I'm glad that you're here today so that we yeah. could uh, talk a little bit about it. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you have any questions about the tires that you need to purchase, if you are in the market for some tires, the folks at Cal Tire would be happy to answer them. Um, and like you said, a lot of people come in and don't know, so they shouldn't be afraid to come in and ask some questions. No, absolutely. I didn't know about it before I started at Cal there Tire, go, right? so I can tell you that. Yeah. Um, one thing that I would recommend is, you know, know your speed rating. 
you never want to downgrade, uh, except for in winter, of course, but you never want to downgrade know your know your speed reading for your tires. Fantastic. Dan, thanks for being here today. Thank you. All right. Busy days ahead for you guys. Yeah. Caltire.com is where you can go to find out more information as well. The local number here, 372-3302. We're back with the weather in two minutes. Stay with us.